morning, 5.20 a.m. So yesterday, I came home. I don't think I picked up the camera, to be honest. I cannot remember. I did client programs until my brain hurt. <laughs> so I have a few more to do today. Um, and then, uh, what else did I do? Oh, I did some organizing online um, on just some things. I did a little browse for shopping. I don't need anything, but like I just took my time looking around. I have to go to the post office the elevator is going down. today to pick up some packages. Um, I think because I started dieting and it's the first time I really, really dieted. Um, in two years, <laughs> um, my feet are losing weight. I know that sounds crazy, but the shoes that I have been using over the past couple of months, um, I have my uh, my orthotics. I really think everyone should get their feet checked out, just because when you have problems with your feet, you feel it in your arms or knees. Wow, it's early. In your knees, and that extends to your hips, and then it extends to your lower back. It just can create a lot of problems. So, a couple of years ago, I went and just had it checked out because I'm a firm believer in that. And I do have some issues with my feet. Um, I have a developing bunion, but it's not bad. It's just developing, quote unquote. So I got. What's the word? Oh my god, I can't think this morning. Insoles. So I've been wearing those inside these. I took out the, the, the shoes, heels, or inserts, and put in my orthotics. Now, with that, you know, the shoes had been fitting me. And then in the past little bit, like, I've been getting mad blisters. And, like, I'm like, I don't understand. I haven't changed anything. And then I'm like, uh, Alicia, you're dieting. Now, fat disposit, disposit, dis, so early, guys. Fat dis, 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 deposited dispositions, whatever the word is I'm looking for, you understand me. Distributes, there we go. Um, in a lot of different places in the body. And you cannot control where it goes and you cannot control where it comes off of when you're dieting or when you're gaining weight. So either way, it just goes where it goes, right? You cannot control. There's no such thing as spot reducing. So if anyone ever tries to tell you, like, lose weight off your ass, like, not going to happen, sister. So anyway, <clears throat> trying to get out of here. They're dying. Um, long story short, short story long. Um, I was getting mad blisters, and I'm like, I'm not doing anything to her. Like, what the hell? So then I put like two and two together. Like, my feet are losing weight. I know, it sounds ridiculous. <gasps> but my feet are losing weight. So, although I have a lot of shoes, a lot of them are for show. Um, and I wouldn't call them functional. So, I went ahead and got a new pair of shoes. Now, I also, here's my thing with shoes. And I have this issue with a lot of people. Guys, shoes are not just shoes. You cannot just buy a pair of shoes. Buy a pair of shoes because you think that they look good. It's gonna be cool. Cool guy. Yo, the hell? Glasses, y'all. Uh, pause. Oh, my Sitting in That tends to happen sometimes. Hold this thought. Okay, I see them right in my window. Way up here. I can't reach them. Whatever. Okay, so, um, shoes are not just shoes. So there's compressive EVA foam in the shoes. That's why you should replace your shoes every two to three months, depending on how much exercising you're doing, because they become compressed over time. I have an article about this on my blog. Now, 
not only do they become compressed over time, is that everyone has a different gait. Some people are pronators, so they turn in. Some people are supinators, so they turn out. Some people have neutral feet. Some people have high arches. There's a lot of variabilities in your feet, right? That's why, again, I have custom insoles. So, every shoe is actually made different. There are neutral shoes. There are ne the, the, neutral shoes motion control shoes and within motion control shoes you have mild immediate uh mild moderate and um severe is that the word I'm looking for? I had I'm sorry guys I don't have words this morning so mild moderate and like intense like fucking like you're talking about like your my 600 pound life people whose feet like completely collapse so there's a lot of brands that make motion control shoes and you don't even know it you buy them and you have no idea so, New Balance, Asics um, are two of the major ones that make motion control shoes. There's a bunch of others, obviously. I'm just skipping, I'm just making a long story short. So, Nike, for the most part, unless they've changed things, um, make neutral shoes. So, they might look great, they might be awesome, great for squatting if they're flat sold, whatever. But if they're a running shoe and they're neutral and you have a supinated foot, or you have a um, pronated foot and you pronate severely, your neutral shoe is not doing you any good. So how do you tell? Well, first you can go to shoe fitting specialist, I'm certified, funny enough. Um, or you can go to a shoe place that has shoe fitting specialists. So you're looking at like very top of the line um, stores that are meant for running where they'll do a gait analysis. So you can go to the running room um, uh, New Balance stores will do this and uh, there are obviously smaller stores so you're never going to get that at something like a Sport Check or a Sporting Life or whatever, uh, Dick's, whatever. You're never going to get that. No one's going to tell come in and tell you like, please let me assess your gait and I'll suggest the right shoes for you. Not going to happen. So you need to go to one of those places. So they're going to watch your gait. And this is if you don't have insoles. So if you have custom insoles, in most cases, because I actually was a shoe fitting specialist and I did brace fitting uh, versus kinesiologist doing that for a while at uh, this place called Kinematics in Ottawa. So, um, if you already have insoles, you can totally wear neutral shoes. You can buy them for the looks. But how do you tell if they're neutral or motion control? So, these people will fit you in certain shoes that are for the type of foot that you have or the type of gait that you have. If you don't have access to that, but you have access to the internet to buy, you can go to Sport Check whatever you look on the insole of the shoe and on the insole of the shoe it's usually white in most cases not all but in most cases and usually if it's a motion control shoe the motion control is actually shaded in in gray I know you probably didn't know shocking right so if you look inside in inner heel um, of the shoe so the inner of your foot and if it's just a little bit that means it's mild it moves when it moves like that, and that's more usually in close to the arch. When it moves out, so it goes from a little bit more towards the heel, still encompassing the arch, that's moderate. Um, and then maximum, that's the word I'm looking for. The maximum motion control is something like a Brooks Beast. Now this is where you'll see like a lot of older people in these shoes because they have a lot of support. So it goes all the way from the heel, past the arch, almost to the forefront of the foot. And another important thing when you're looking for support in a shoe is that it needs to be lace up. It can't be slip on. Um, lace up is actually going to support your ankle and it's also going to support your arch and keep your arch in. So if you have a low fallen arch, you should not be wearing slip on shoes. You should be wearing shoes with laces because these laces are actually part of the structure of the shoe. So they do help. They're not just there for fun um, or looks or whatever. So there's a lot more to shoes than people really realize. And a lot of times you can be wearing the wrong shoe and doing your body complete harm. So if you're training for something like bodybuilding or running or something that's a performance based sport and you want that 1% better and you don't want to hinder yourself and hold yourself back, I would suggest getting the right shoe. So if you're doing tons of cardio, one hour, two hour, whatever you're doing for your cardio, I don't care. Everybody's different. I'm a firm believer in that. But no matter what you're doing, which is relative to you, if you're doing a lot of cardio relative to you, you need to make sure that you're in the right shoe. And that's hella important. 
So before you go buy shoes, don't just buy them for the looks anymore, buy them for the functionality because if you want to get the most out of your cardio, the best bang for your buck and the better running economy, which means you're expending less energy during cardio to get the maximum results, then you want to make sure that you're in a proper shoe. So that's my spiel. Um, more than just a pretty face, y'all. More than just a bodybuilder, but make sure you're in the right shoe for what you're doing. That's why you should switch out shoes, especially when you're lifting heavy. I'm guilty of not doing this just because it's easier um, into a platform-based shoe so you have a better base, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, not all shoes are meant to do the same thing. It's very important that you realize that, that competing, cardio, running recreationally, you know what, all these things are recreational, hobbyist type things. It's very important that you treat your body with respect. And that doesn't just mean getting a massage. That means straight from the foot to the, the head to the toe, the toe to the head, the head to the toe, all over, all encompassing. So anyway, if you didn't know, now you know. And this is probably going to be the video for the day because I feel like I've been talking for a really long time. I love you guys. Thank you for subscribing. And um, yeah, make sure you hit that bell notification for more... Um, you know, notifications of my videos, and uh, make sure you're subscribed, and share, like, follow, head over to my Instagram, follow, sign up for my newsletter, follow, uh, get training for me, follow, it's 5.30 and it's like bright out, I love this, why can't it be like this all the time, <laughs> okay, bye, alright, I'm home. I had to pick up a package from the post office that got sent there. Um, the mail room like isn't open yet. That's really dark. Um, where can I put you? Maybe on this shelf? There we go. Um, now, in Ontario, our stay-at-home order is being lifted. Um, Pure is opening back up um, under the Disabilities Act, blah, blah, blah. So, I wanted to pick up a few new items. I don't know when or where I'll wear some of these, but maybe a photo shoot or something. I love bodysuits. I don't know if you guys know I have a lot of bodysuits. This was like a little one arm number. Holy shit, it's long. What size did I get of this? Six, it should fit. I think it's just because the way the sleeve is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like super open back and then it's like one arm. So that's cool. Sammy's like watching. Hi, Sam. This one, I don't know. Photo shoot or club if a club ever opens or if I freaking go to Vegas or something. The, this was on their um, Coachella like specials. Um, oh my God. I also need nipple covers for it, but y'all. Oh, she's so excited. Oh my god. I don't know what bottoms they'd wear with it, but maybe like. Oh my god. Can you guys see this? I'm so stoked for this. This is so cool. I think it's upside down. <laughs> Photo shoot. Get me shredded so I can wear this in a photo shoot. Fucking break the internet. Here for it. So cool. Yeah, love. Great choice. It was super cheap too, because like obviously Coachella didn't happen or any of those types of festivals. Which I've also never been to, but lots of people and friends have like performed at it. I've just never been in like California or Vegas, that area at that great time. Okay, I need a new tank top, so I think I got a bunch of tank tops too. I can't even remember what's in this order. So it's just a white ribbed one. Super simple. Also, note all these things cost me under $100. Sheen is the bomb. So Sheen. Um, I wanted some bootay shorts ish, so I got these little guys. This is this little number. What's this? This looks very similar to the other one. Oh, love. It's like this partial cut off tank top. It's like here, 
and it's just like short in the back, long in the front. <laughs> I guess I was on a white kick when I ordered these things. There's a pair of tights in here that I'm really excited about. I don't really return much. I usually know my sizes pretty damn well, so I don't have to return. I was talking to my friend about this. She's like, what do you do about returns? I'm like, I don't. I mean, I'm pretty successful with online shopping. Oh, yes. I'm so glad I bought this. I didn't know if I did or not. <gasps> so excited. So it's like this halter top, and it's got the cups for the boobs so it's like really holds you in and it's like crisscross crisscross applesauce i hate when people say that like grow up so i don't know if this gives a good depiction of what it looks like but make sure your tatas look bomb af ha ah, here are the tights so excited about these so like bombshell fitness is like so expensive but you can find a lot of dupes on like amazon or all my dupes are from Sheen. Like, hi, hello, great quality. Yes, we're here for this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll wear those Saturday. I'm working out with my friend Laz, who's an actor. I don't know if you guys know that. He's in The Boys. He's Mother's Milk. He's been in a lot of other things. He's like in Tsutsui and Avatar, blah, blah, blah. I've known him for a long ass time. Like 11 years, 12 years. Cute little gray shorts. I needed new shorts. I had a breakdown the other day that none of my shorts fit me. <laughs> it's not that they don't fit me. It's just like they don't fit me properly because like my body has changed. Like my legs are different. Uh, same as the white one, just in black. A nice tight little tank top number. Hi, Donald. What are you doing? I love that my dogs love their cages. What do we got here? Shit. Oh yeah, so another bodysuit, but this one's more dressy and it's not really like, it could be like a nice cooler summer night, but it had like ruffly shoulders. So it's like kind of more dressier and like adult-like than things I normally wear. So I got that. So yo. Treat yourself sometimes. So the world's opening. Hopefully I'll be able to wear those. Not the world. Toronto. Hopefully I'll be able to wear those soon. So that was my little haul. Thank you for tuning in. I'm going to eat breakfast now.